Hi. Hi. Did you make notes? You made notes? Of course I did. <laughs> I always make notes. I know it's Christmas when I walk out of the late night service on Christmas Eve and sometimes it's snowing and sometimes it's not, but it's quiet and the stars are sparkling and I know there's a peace on the earth and I know why we celebrate Christmas at that moment. To me it's when God sent his son that could speak our language and deliver a message that we obviously weren't hearing and maybe still aren't hearing, but it was another attempt to communicate with us and that's what we're celebrating at that time and it, it brings faith, family and friends together and that's kind of a summary of what Christmas is. Oh, we have so many. Um, I love the baking of the cookies and of course I like eating the cookies too, but I love stuffing stockings. I make giant stockings for everybody in our family and I love buying the stuff for that and stuffing the stockings and I love seeing the joy that people have and I, I like buying gifts for people. I think that's really fun or, or picking mm -hmm. out the right thing. Well, I, I really like Diana's cookie party that she does for the real workers of the Senate, the people that hang pictures and change light bulbs and do plumbing, and uh, love seeing the appreciation they have for the recognition that they get at this time of year. I watch her bake 200 dozen cookies in a very short period of time, and, and uh, but that, that's part of the 20-year tradition here, and before that she was doing it uh, for people in the legislature and then people in the city. And uh, that, that, that's part of what Christmas is. Of course, another tradition that I personally like is one where I and my two daughters go to the, the store and we buy a lot of stocking stuff or sorts of things, things that people are gonna need anyway. You know, maybe um, some aspirin or toothbrush or toothpaste or all sorts of things and we wrap each of them individually and we think of some really clever clue of what might be in there and as we wrap them and think of these clues we have a great laugh and then we make everybody read the clue again before they can open it at which point we have another great laugh <laughs> and then we've kind of kept a list over the over the years of the different ones that we've come up with and we laugh at that several times during the year just I highly recommend that as a, a way to just gather some things and have some fun. As our kids were growing up, we watched a TV special one time where they went to the barn and they dressed up as Mary and Joseph and the baby and there were cows and, you know, sheep and everything around. Well, our kids, when Amy was probably five or six, wanted to do that. And they wanted us to bring hay into the house. And <laughs> we had no cows or sheep, but we did that. And then Amy dressed up as Mary, and Brad dressed up as Joseph. And they were bitty, and they were so cute. And then my little nephew was baby Jesus. And I will always remember that because they need, you know, they, they knew that was what Christmas was all about. And they had to do it, but we, minus the animals, which we could not gather. But it was very fun. Uh, one of my favorite Christmas memories is Diana's and my first Christmas after we were married. And uh, we decorated a Christmas tree in our wedding colors and we wanted our parents to come down and see this marvelous tree that we designed. And they didn't make it and they didn't make it and they didn't make it and pretty quick we had a Charlie Brown Christmas tree which was just decorations and a bunch of needles on the floor. But, but we saved it until both we did. Yeah. Could come. I'm surprised yeah. we didn't burn down our house, but it was very yeah. special. But it, but I've got to tell another another favorite one too and that's when each of our kids got to be age 3 at Christmas. And as each of our grandkids got to be age three at Christmas, because that's when they kind of understand Christmas, but they really understand packages. And they go into those packages with a whole new enthusiasm. I remember one person saying, maybe we should put some of those away. I think she's lost her focus. And she says, focus? I don't remember opening a focus. <laughs> so, and, and another one was at a Christmas program. 
Um, Brad was supposed to be one of the wise men. And so Diana had made a turban out of a towel for him, but apparently he didn't like it. So while they were downstairs waiting to come on stage, he found a fur wrap and he put that around his head and the tail stuck mm. down in back and he looked more like Daniel Boone than he did yeah. a wise man. But he was really pleased with his costume. Yes, he was. <laughs> It's a wonderful life. Agree. Yeah, it's one we watch every year. But almost anything on the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> I watch those while I do the cookie. I know every Hallmark movie now. I know all the new ones and all the old ones. Well, we usually have shrimp dip. And oh, we always, yeah, we always, we always have, have shrimp, shrimp dip, dip made uh, with cream cheese. But... Uh, we also have a tradition of opening one package on Christmas Eve. Our kids open one package on Christmas Eve, and it's always something they can play with. Right. Still. Yeah. <laughs> Big ones and little ones. Well, we had real trees for years and years and years because we sold them on the lot with the Boy Scouts. And so you have to have a real tree if you're out there every Sunday and every night selling Christmas trees. And I like that still, but now we have a little scrawny tree that we put up here because we've been running into session almost to Christmas every year and we go with the kids so we don't decorate at home. Although in the storeroom we have a Christmas tree that's all decorated all and covered, <laughs> covered with a big plastic cover so that we can just slide it out into the other room if the kids ever come home yeah, for Christmas. If they ever come home for Christmas. <laughs> but when you have kids and there's a lot of presents and stuff, it's pretty hard to travel with little kids. I just want to be with my family, and I've asked them if, if not to gift me with anything, but to find somebody that needs something more than I do, and to give it to a charity or sponsor the soup kitchen or something. That's what I've asked for. And I've asked kind of the same thing to give to some charity, but I've put one more difficult requirement on it. And that's that I want them to write down some yeah. memories for me, each one of them, no matter how young or how old. I want some memories from when they were growing, anything they want to write about. Memories saved is a, is a big thing. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas, Wyoming.